Hello, this is going to attempt to be a quick thing about the semester long project. There will be more of these throughout the, the term where I'm going to try to show you, guide you through what I'm doing. You may have had me before and you're retaking this. You may have known someone who's already taken this. I changed this project up constantly. And so I'm doing something new again. So it's all new. Um, it's raining out right now. So if you see poof or anything, that'll be why. And I teach in just a little bit. So literally I have a stopwatch going here on me. Um, all right, enough said. Share screen, show you a few things. Okay, so. When the course starts, there's going to be announcements, blah, blah, blah. I talked about a semester long project. The semester long project has its whole own little folder over here. So if we go to semester long project, the lab, here we go. You will see this. This has a whole lot of words for you to read. The basic gist is you are gonna be learning how to analyze data. You are going to be looking at the numbers of positive cases of COVID and the deaths for particular locations. We're going to go through this entire thing, and I'm going to show you how to analyze what that actually means. So it's telling you here that you need to read this whole document and then a whole bunch of stuff. You need to figure out your thoughts, come up with questions you want to answer, not just the obvious ones, but something you can actually delve into, look into. And then you're also going to be analyzing this data and you're going to be making graphs. Like I said, I will be walking you through this throughout the semester. This is just a reminder that there's a whole lot of work involved and you cannot wait to the last minute. A lot of people will, it happens every single time. Somebody will wait until like the last week and then they do horribly because they miss a whole lot of stuff. <clears throat> this is a recap, nice simple bullet points. What you're going to be tracking is the USA in general. So the United States positive cases, the United States deaths. You're going to pick one of five high vaccinated rate states one of the five low vaccinated rate states, and then three other states. I'm gonna show you where that is too in just a second. While you're doing the analyzing, you're going to have the population for each state, which again, I'm gonna walk you through. Analyze and closing thoughts. So here's how you pick your states. You have to have the United States. Then you will pick one of these five, because these are the top five vaccinated states. You will pick one of these five, which are the bottom five vaccinated states, and then you will pick three of these states. I am limiting the number of states available because I keep all of these numbers as well. I will be collecting all these numbers for you, and so I've kind of lowered the number you can pick. I have tried to make sure every section of the United States is covered, though, so you can pick and choose all you want. So that's the basic gist of this lab. But wait, there's more. When you go here, there's also this discussion board. This is a place where you can talk to anybody else about the project. You can throw questions in there. You can say what you're thinking, just whatever. This is there to communicate. I have found that normally if you have a question about the project, someone else has the same question. So if we throw it in a discussion board, Everybody can jump in and get answers. These are the two very important things you need. These are Excel sheets. I tell you this because when you click on it, it's gonna look horrible. This is what it looks like. That's not going to really help you. So you have to download it. Once you download it, this is what you're going to see. This is the worksheet. I have already put the information for the USA, the cases, and the deaths. I have already put in here all the way from January 1st, 2022 until now. So we go all the way to here. I am planning to put the January 7th numbers here and then reposting this on the 8th. That way, when the class officially starts, it's there. But I have no numbers here yet because 
I'm making this video on January 3rd. Now, the other thing to note, the reason you really want to use this, I already have it all set up to where it will automatically calculate your rate of change. That's what all these dashes are. When you enter this information, it will actually do all the calculations for you. So that's that will make your life a little easier. I am also going to give you the data. So this is also posted. This is all of your numbers for each week. It's every seven days for January 1st, all the way through. And again, hopefully it will be the, um, hopefully January 7th will be on here as well. Now you will notice there is more on here than just what I told you. I have the world information for those who are curious. I also track Argentina, Israel, and Belize for different reasons. So I have those numbers on here. I added Massachusetts a tiny bit late. So you, you miss a tiny bit of data, but then it gets caught up. I have them all separated. So we've got the high vaccinated states, then we have the low vaccinated states. And then for the rest of the states, other, these are just alphabetical order so you can find them. So say you're planning on using California, you would just highlight, and I'm not going to do all of it, you would highlight that copy and then paste. And then of course you would put California here so you know which it is. Notice when I entered them up here, it went ahead and calculated the rate of change down here. You will see as you're going a number like this in parentheses, but that's because you have to wait until you have the next day's data to fix it. So it just keeps going. I have set it where everything works for you. You just literally have to put the information in. Every week, I will be giving you the latest data so then you can enter it. And like I said, periodically, we're going to have checkpoints. You have a, I think it's called semester long project, the beginning that will be due very quickly. And that's where you're telling me which states you're choosing, why, and your initial thoughts. That is worth, I believe, 50 points right there. So make sure to get that done. Then throughout the term, I will do different videos and I might even have some Zoom sessions for people to meet with me. So then I can talk you through the analyzing aspect, what you're supposed to be thinking, how to read it. Because we live in a world where there's so much information out there, but people just don't seem to put any thought behind it. And I really think if everybody just learned how to read information, we would have a much smarter society in general. And that's pretty much the goal here. I'm not telling you what to think. I want you to think. And so I am just showing you how to do certain things so then you can come up with your own conclusions. I'm big on that whole critical thinking and thinking for yourself. And so that's what this entire project is about, is me showing you how to read stuff so then you can read, so then you can actually formulate your own opinion and make valid and educated statements. Um, that's pretty much it. So if you have questions, shoot me a message. Um, hopefully that made sense. I don't know, I was getting really distracted as the rain was getting stronger. So I think I got everything covered and I will see you in another video before too long. So peace out.